for the ping pong ball demonstration. Um, a couple things you're going to do. Uh, one is keep it on cool. Uh, second is when you turn the dryer on, make sure that the ping pong hovers at least six inches above the hair dryer. Notice this one hovers a little low, so you may want to use a nozzle to uh, increase the flow. And one way to do that is use the top of a two liter bottle that you cut off earlier to do that. So I'll show that. Don't put your hair dryer against the ground because it will block the inflow. That does a little bit better of uh, levitating a little higher up. You'll want to show students this, and you also want to say, okay, well, it's hovering at that location. Why would that be? But you also want to show them that why does it do this? When I put it down lower, it goes up. When I put it up higher, it falls down. Now eventually it stabilizes at a location, but thinking about the forces at these different locations, being balanced here, being unbalanced here, and being unbalanced here is part of what the, the goal is in this demonstration. Another thing you want to show is that students will claim that the air is pushing harder the closer it is to the hair dryer. So here's a scale, and we can show it pushing more the closer we get. You also want students to try that with a straw by blowing on it. And you can do that just blowing on it, you'll get a red reading.